What is going on guys? I'm Consumer Tech Review and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Red Dragon K585 DD Elite Wireless. I'm going to do the unboxing for you and then I'm going to go over the pros and the cons and my own real life experience that I've had with this. And if at any point during the video, if you want to check out the K585, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK and Canada. I do got you guys, but let's jump into the unboxing. Here's the timestamp if you want to skip it. All right, guys, unboxing the brand new Red Dragon K585 Elite. This is the wireless version of the K585, which I am super excited about. Let's get this thing unboxed, just like the other one comes in a very similar box. Comes with a switch pole, Red Dragon sticker, and a manual. Okay, so I'm fairly certain that this is actually not a Bluetooth, but is actually a, but it uses this, a 2.4 gigahertz um, wireless connector. Oh, and actually under here, you have a switch puller, a nice one too, which is great to see. And you have a USB-C braided cable. It's nice, it's not anything special, but it is braided. And then in here you have extra switches in case some of them break on there, you can switch them out. Let's get this thing out of here. So like the other one, the build quality feels almost identical. And there it just snaps right in there. Now this one is actually with the blue switches. These are Atemu blue switches. The other one I got had brown switches. These, oh, it feels quite solid. I will say I do like these buttons way more with blue switches rather than brown switches. And I'm a big brown switch guy, so that's saying a lot. They just feel a little bit better for something like gaming. Although you could also switch out whatever keys you want on this to different switches. So you could have these in blues and then have other ones in browns or reds or really whatever you want. They all do have to be out tempo, but you can do that. And for something like this, which is just fully for gaming, that might be a legitimate thing. Now again, just like the other one, really nice ergonomics. Space bars right here. This wrist rest is so nice. It's hard plastic, but it's not about the soft and cushionness of it. It's about the hand placement, which feels really, really good. You can go all the way back here. You go up there. You can go here. This is typically where I play. Space bar is easy. Everything's right where you want it to be. The ergonomics are fantastic. All right, now let's go through this. Just like the other one, you have a USB type C port here. Now on the other one, you had a normal USB that you can use to power things. But on this one, you have the on and off switch there, which a lot of you will like because you won't have to actually flip this thing over and have the on and off switch on the bottom. Red Dragon knows that you guys want this thing on the side. But overall, this one does feel heavier than the last one, probably because of the battery. And it does feel quite solid. I do like those blue switches. That is the unboxing of the K585 Elite. Take it away, future consumer check review with the full review. And we are back. Let's jump right into the very first pro, which is that this is a wireless version now of the K585 because you can get the K585 non-elite, just the K585, but the elite one bumps it up. You get the 2.4 gigahertz USB dongle that makes this thing wireless. And this is a game changer. Now for normal keyboards, sometimes it's not a big of a deal, but with this one, because it's so specialized for gaming, basically you are going to be using this for gaming and practically nothing else. Some of you might use it as like an editing tool, but the majority of you are going to be using this purely for gaming, which means this is not going to be your only keyboard and it, you can't use it as your only keyboard. It's pretty much just for gaming, meaning that you're going to have either this and a keyboard on your desk or you're going to have a keyboard on your desk and you're going to put this on your desk and take it off. Now, with it being wireless, now it's easy. You plug the dongle into your computer or your laptop or whatever you're using and you have this thing maybe in a drawer or maybe on another table or something like that on a shelf. And then every time you want a game, put it right on your desk, turn it on, and you're ready to go. Instead of with the old one, you would have to keep a cable there to plug it back in or you just have to keep it on your desk. That means you have to cable manage cables now. Now for a lot of keyboards, this is like not a big deal. It's like wireless is nice to like clean up cables, but this thing is way, way better being wireless. Like this is a game changer. And in fact, I wouldn't even recommend getting the other wired version. I would just get the wireless version. All right, now let's talk switches. The non-elite, the wired one came in brown switches and this one comes in blue switches. They're Altemu switches. Uh, they feel pretty good. I do enjoy the blues better on this keyboard and typically I don't. I love, I love browns. Those are my favorite switches, but the blues feel better on these just because some of the keys are bigger and it feels a little bit easier. It feels a little bit more direct. However, that being said, I do wish they would put reds on this thing because I feel like that would probably be the best thing for gaming. That being said, the stabilizers on some of the keys, like the custom spacebar, feel pretty good and they're actually pretty generously lubed, which is great to see. And the next pro is you got seven onboard macro keys. Only five of them are dedicated though, 
it's not an all an issue guy, a lot of them, uh, and some of them are in a pretty good place. You have one next to the uh, space thumb bar thing, and then you have the four others on the left side. And they look nice, they're all their own custom shape, which is kind of a con, because you wouldn't be able to put custom keycaps on this. So that's kind of an issue, but uh, they don't have that ugly white printing that other Red Dragons uh, keyboards do have. So you probably won't even need to switch the keycaps. All right, now let's talk ergonomics and comfort. This thing comes with a wrist rest, which obviously it's like kind of built in. It's magnetic, but it's also one of those things that you like don't want to take away from it. It's kind of made for that. Uh, it's not a soft wrist rest. It's just a plastic, but it feels nice. It's not necessarily about the squishiness of it. It's more about the placement. Uh, so instead of having your hand like at a weird angle, the thumb is just kind of resting there very nicely. Basically, if you lay your hand down, that's how it will stay while gaming. So instead of having your thumb way out here like this to like W, A, S, and D, and then space bar, it's more of like that. Now, all of this is exactly the same as the wired version. However, with this one, everything's a little bit heavier, feels a tiny bit more solid. It probably sounds a little bit better too because of having the battery inside of it. And for only 10 bucks more, Get the wireless version. All right, now let's talk battery life. This thing only gets 15 to 20 hours with the RGBs on. That's not amazing. Now, this is with a 3000 milliamp hour battery, which I'm kind of confused about because it feels like for that size of battery, this thing should get way, way longer battery life. So really not sure why. However, if you do think about it, that is 15 to 20 hours of continuous use. So if you're gaming uh, for a long, I mean, if you're just using this for gaming, which I think most of you will be, that's still a long time. You could use this thing for a week or more if you guys don't game that much. So kind of a con, but at the same time, it's probably not gonna make that big of a difference in terms of usability. Now let's talk RGB. The RGB on this is actually pretty good. Uh, the keys are bright, they're vibrant. There's a couple different modes that are pre-programmed, although you can change that stuff in the software, but you cannot change everything without getting the software. All the RGB is only like four different modes, which is not my favorite. So there's no like function key to like switch things. That's kind of a con. But the other con with the RGB is the space bar does not light up while in wired mode. And I thought maybe this is just my tester, something like that. But then I look on their product images and the spacebar is not lit up on any of the product images. So you don't get spacebar. The RGB is there. When you plug it in, it turns on. It's just not in wired mode. Just the spacebar, nothing else. Kind of strange, don't know why it's there. All right, now the next pro that I know a lot of you guys will like is the on and off switch is not on the bottom, it is on the back close to the USB for charging. So this is charged with USB-C, which is nice because if you guys are using other keyboards, you might just be able to pull the USB-C out of that, plug it in this when it needs charging. Okay, but compare this to the normal K585DD, the K585DD Elite is way better. I mean, it basically is the best form of this one-handed keyboard for gaming. The ease and usability of this thing is incredible. And as well, the 2.4 gigahertz USB dongle, some of them have like connectivity issues on other keyboards and stuff that I've used. I tested this one everywhere in my house. It's just like another Red Dragon keyboard, the K599, which also used one of those USB dongles. The range is incredible. Like it is really, really good. I've never had connection issues, which is great. This is absolutely the best version of Red Dragon's K585. The ease and just taking it out and using it also feels special because you're only getting this thing for gaming basically so you just it feels different it's ergonomic your hands don't hurt your thumbs in a nice position it's a good time if you guys have the extra money and you do want something special for gaming this is a great choice again if you do want to go check it out there's amazon links below for the us uk and canada i do highly recommend this if you do want to get a little bit thing for gaming it's a little bit gimmicky uh because it's only for gaming i wouldn't say gimmicky but uh, it's a little bit luxurious. It's not like you don't need this, but it's really fun to have it. But yeah, I wasn't sure how much of a difference it was gonna make in real life experience, but using the K585 non-wired or the K585 that is wired, the difference is crazy because this one I can just put on my desk right away, get to gaming. The other one, you gotta plug it in and cable manage everything and it's just, it's a lot more work than it needs to be. But guys, if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, help me out and throw a like below. And if you enjoy keyboard reviews, gaming mice reviews, stuff like that, I do a ton of those, so please consider subscribing below. But this was Consumer Tech Review, and I'll see you guys later.